Yes. <laughs> the ambiguity, yeah. doubtfulness or uncertainty of a meaning or intention, yes. As in a contractual term or statutory provision, indistinction, indistinctiveness, yes, of significance by reason of doubleness or interpretation. <laughs> You know, it seems this ambiguous ideology that as long as we arrest them, they're guilty. Isn't that right, Master Race? <coughs> you Genesis? <laughs> well, this thought, yes, that you're going to put uh, in, in jail or mental institutions any person that you arrest. <laughs> you couldn't have false arrested somebody for the false allegation of violating the restraint provisions. <laughs> you couldn't have been a criminal to... Oh, well, exactly who is the individual in Jefferson County that's my designated mental health? Is it you, Carol? Uh-huh. Well, uh, did the superintendent have something to do with this? Because I wasn't in Brennan. Seems somewhat ambiguous to say that I was cyber-stalking when I sent 1,500,000 emails. <laughs> Seems to ambiguous to say I was in Brennan, Washington when I was sitting in front of the Masonic Temple. <laughs> You know, the second best kind of evidence that you can have, yes, is that you can um, show, yes, when a video was made, poop, when it was uploaded to YouTube, yes, where you were at at the time of the upload, yes, you was, and the actual date and time of every email. Now, for some reason right now, the second best evidence is the actual video of the location you were at? Yes. The time the video was made? Yes. The time that it was uploaded? Yes. And then uh, the location where you uploaded it? Yes. <laughs> now, on June 16th, on or about, exactly what the fuck happened? Because I'm telling you right now. You said I was in Brendan, Washington when I wasn't. <clears throat> you said I was cyber-stalking when I emailed a million and a half emails. <clears throat> You said that I committed a crime when I didn't. Poof. And then when I said, well, I didn't commit any crime, you made me have a 1077. Then mm -hmm, you designated a mental health professional <laughs> to handle me whenever the court decides that I'm going to be put on medication. <laughs> and then you're going to commit the crime of aggravated kidnapping. <laughs> now, I would say at the time of the two count criminal complaint, yes, without investigating where I was at and what I was doing, yes, it was aggravated kidnapping. <laughs> See, if I don't appear in court right now. Well, crisis responders, I emailed all of you. And you said, oh, he's crazy. Am I really crazy? For knowing where I was at, knowing what I was doing, and having the evidence to prove that I was nowhere near Britain. <laughs> June 16th. Now, you want to tell me what you were doing? <laughs> was somebody making a show? <laughs> you were selling my rights as an American citizen? Pooch! <laughs> Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Some look-alike guy that looked 50 years old. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? You're just making shows? <clears throat> Is that what you're doing? Now, as the individual that you arrested, yes, <laughs> I can prove where I was at on June 16th of 2017, <laughs> and the truth be known every day before and after that. But you decided to sell the rights of the... <laughs>